What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. And welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, August the 17th. Pleasure to have you with us today. We're going to talk about something today that um, I have been concerned about and been interested in for many years, and that's the overuse of antibiotics. And we've got a, a, a young lady here today, Christina Furman, who um, actually you've made a passion out of this, talking about uh, antibiotics, use of antibiotics, and, and they are antibiotics are life-saving. They're so important because they have saved so many lives, prevented us from being incapacitated with illness. But I think most doctors agree, you see this on the news, that we are asking for antibiotics when they are really not needed. The body has the ability many times to take care of itself without putting something in there. Save it when it's really necessary. Well, you've been talking about this for some time now, right? Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Absolutely. And, and what are you finding in all of your research? Well, I'm finding exactly what you're saying. You know, we don't want to be inconvenienced by being sick. We don't want to give our body a chance to fight it on its own because we've kind of forgotten that our body does know what to do in most cases, fighting an illness. And so it's kind of habitual to just go to the doctor and ask for a Z pack, you know? And so what I'm finding, and I, that's how I used to live. And so I I wouldn't be inconvenienced and I would go to the doctor for a Z-Pack and the more antibiotics I used, the more sick I became until finally I uh, came down with a superbug infection called C. diff and I was hospitalized at the age of 31. A superbug infection. Mm -hmm. And that is because you had put so many antibiotics into your body that the, 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 it was becoming resistant Yes. The germs were becoming resistant, right? Yes, and I had wiped out all the good bacteria in my gut that was keeping bugs like C. diff at bay. And so when I did that, that's how uh, this opportunistic bacteria infected my intestines and, and took over. And If you have been overusing antibiotics for some time, and then you say, you know what, i got to cut back on this, have you, have you talked to your doctor? How long does it take for the system to start rejuvenating itself? And that's a very good question, and I'm glad you asked that. Um, you know, immediately you can you can change things. So if you eat a lot of sugar and a lot of carbs, that feeds the bad bacteria in your gut, and 70% of your immune system is in your intestines. And so if you can eat a high-fiber diet and stay away from processed foods and a lot of sugars and just eat natural foods, they're finding that you can really rebound rather quickly and maintain a healthy lifestyle, you know, get plenty of exercise, sunshine and fresh air. I mean, it's really that simple. Mm -hmm. Eating from the garden, fresh vegetables from the garden or from the farmer's market instead of processed food makes a big difference. Absolutely, it does. Uh, but, you know, this is something that uh, it, it has not just come out, but it's been years in the making. I remember when we used to do a segment on uh, Pepper and Friends, uh, uh, Ask the Pharmacist, with our pharmacist, Gene Forrester. Um, we talked many times about the fact that we're, we're taking too much medication. We're putting this medicine into our body that we don't need. If we just have a little patience and let the body try to fix itself. Like if you've got a cold, you don't want to take antibiotics for a cold. But so many times people will go to the doctor with a cold and they will ask, specifically ask, for an antibiotic. And uh, I, I guess 
sometimes the doctors will give it. But I, I've heard more and more times now where a doctor will say, no, you don't really need an antibiotic. Right. Uh, just take something to help alleviate the symptoms of the cold and it will go away by itself. Right. And what's what's also scary is we haven't had a new class of antibiotics since 1984. And if you think about how technology has evolved and advanced since then, but yet our antibiotic um, development has not. So we're currently mixing antibiotics to kind of find a cocktail that works for these resistant infections, but we, we are running out of antibiotics. And so the World um, Health Organization lists antibiotic resistance as one of the top 10 threats to humanity. I think the other thing that needs to be discussed is the fact that uh, many of the meat and poultry we eat those animals have been given antibiotics as a preventative for a disease, even though they don't have anything. They're fed uh, antibiotics in their food, which then in turn is being introduced into our body in our diet. Has that been covered? This is also a huge hot button on Capitol Hill because I think a, I think it's either 50 or 70 percent of antibiotics go towards our livestock. And then we are consuming this. And like you said, it's not necessarily needed. And so that stewardship is also being worked on where this is not something that, that should be happening where our antibiotics, our animals are consuming right. so many. What, what it's doing, they're, they're being fed the antibiotics as a preventative right. uh, to illness even though they're not sick. But in the meantime, this is being introduced into our body. Uh, you, you can look for, I, I know there are labeled products that say antibiotic free uh, that you can, they can purchase. That's something that everybody needs to think about and you make your decision on that. Is there a particular website that people can go to if they want to uh, learn more on this and study? Yes. Um, the Pew Charitable Trust Foundation uh, does a lot of research on antibiotic resistance, and they have their own um, area of expertise in that. So uh, if you go to pewtrust.org, uh, I believe. And then for C. diff, which is the infection that I had, there's a Peggy Lillis Foundation, and it's peggyfoundation.org. And if you just Google antibiotic resistance, you will get an overwhelming amount of information. And also a really reliable source is the CDC. So if you get on their website and look for information about antibiotic resistance, they will certainly provide you with a lot of, you know, yeah. information. And, and be sure to talk to your doctor about it. Talk to your doctor. I remember there was one time uh, I, I had surgery and they were going to give me antibiotics. And I said, do I really, do I really need this antibiotic? Well, it turned out, yes, you do need it uh, to help prevent any infection that could come. But you need to question that. Do I really need to take an antibiotic right now? And to have the discussion with your doctor. Again, if you want more information on this, there you can just Google uh, antibiotic resistance. Christina, I thank you so much for coming by today thank you. and uh, having this discussion. It's my right? pleasure. It's worthwhile. Thank we appreciate you. it. Out of time, drop me an email with something you'd like to hear or see. Pepper P, Missouri.edu. Bye bye.